this video, I will showcase a third-person camera system that has been added to the framework. Currently, I've loaded a demo scene from an asset on the asset store. You can find this asset by typing C Princess in the search bar. The core components of the third-person camera system are a look at transform and a camera. We currently have a blank game object called character with the transform. We have the model or the character childed to this game object, and we have an empty game object called look at that is positioned near the character's head. It's important that you use an empty game object for camera focus because the camera will actually focus on the target look transform center. If we had specified the model as our target look transform, the camera would focus on the center of this model's transform, meaning the camera would focus on the waist of the sea princess. By creating a look at game object and positioning it where we want the camera to focus on and using that as our target look transform instead, we can have the camera focus on the character's head or shoulders instead of always focusing on the center of the, the character itself. There are several parameters that you can specify in a third-person camera script, such as the, the minimum distance and the maximum distance, which indicate how close or how far away the camera can get from the target look transform. The distance parameter is the starting distance. Note that if the distance does not fit within a minimum or maximum, it will automatically snap, or the camera will automatically snap to the closest bound. We have a smoothing factor for the camera, we also have a distance camera resume smoothing, which is a distance at which the camera will smooth after occlusion has been handled. Our third person camera script does occlusion checks, and in essence, it is a smart third person camera. If you do not know what occlusion is, it's simply when the, the transform, when the target look transform is obstructed. What the third person camera script actually does is it handles for obstructions by automatically snapping or zooming in until the object, the target look transform, is no longer obstructed. I've attached a third person camera mouse input script for those people who want a more complete camera system. You can use the third person camera just as a third person camera by attaching this script, or you can add mouse functionality such as mouse panning and zooming in and zooming out with the mouse scroll wheel by attaching third person camera mouse input script. This takes a variety of other parameters such as mouse X, and mouse Y sensitivity, and wheel sensitivity. I'll go ahead and start the demo scene to show this functionality. You'll notice that the distance, which was previously set to zero, has now snapped to three with the minimum distance. The third person camera input script, since this is active, we're able to pan the camera around by holding down the right mouse button and then dragging left or right. We can also zoom in and zoom out using the mouse scroll wheel. You can see the distance updated here. As mentioned previously, the third person camera is smart and handles occlusion. For example, if I pan further to the right, this pillar will begin to obstruct my, ca my character. Specifically, it will obstruct the target look transform. And what the third person camera script will do is automatically zoom in and snap until the target look transform is no longer obstructed. There you'll notice that the camera, as soon as it's obstructed from the target look transform, will zoom in and snap until the target look transform is no longer obstructed. This works for a variety of angles, such as when this half pillar or broken pillar obstructs the target look transform. If I move the mouse, if I drag down, the camera will automatically zoom in. As you can see, this is a very smart third person camera system and is suited for a variety of game modes. It is very suitable for production use. There may be some bounciness that is going on. This is mostly because the character is moving but you will have to configure this for your project's needs specifically. Hopefully, this third-person camera system will be useful to you in one of your projects.